right, so what you gotta do is um, ensure that these screws will secure the board down um, and that way components will not move when you're um, in transit or that way it just won't damage the board. Alright, so everything's hooked up. Um, of course, that's power out HDMI, and I had to get a converter for the VGA HDMI port. But we're gonna power it up and see what's up. Such a success! As you can see, I have now got my noobs, which is new out of the box software, onto a SD micro SD card, which has now been inserted into the Raspberry Pi, and these are all the different configurations here. Um, I have a mouse and a keyboard uh, hooked up as well as the HDMI, VGA HDMI connector and the DC power. And under there is the uh, formatted, reformatted Mac FAT32 uh, micro SD card with noobs being downloaded on here. So we'll take a look at this. Uh, best thing to do for now is to go ahead and select uh, Razman. I've got to find a, a mouse pad for this mouse. This is an old mouse, but hey. Okay, so you click install this tab up here. I went ahead and changed the language from UK to US English. Um, and I'm gonna, I click the install button. So it says warning, this will, this install will select the uh, operating system or systems, which we have the Raspbian as well as Windows 10 Internet of Things. All existing data on the drive will be overwritten, including any OS's operating systems that are already installed. Confirm, we'll go ahead and say yes. Voila, please wait for your software to be installed on your SD card. This will take a few minutes. So we'll let this run and rip through um, and we'll go from there. So the Raspberry operating system based on Debian Linux, or a lot of people know it as Debian Jesse, is now being installed on your Raspberry Pi or Debian. Um, this provides an easy to use desktop interface, includes a web browser, email, and office applications. It includes several programming languages, that's what we need, aimed at a range of users from absolute beginners. So it works just like a conventional PC. Applications are launched by clicking the menu button at the top left. So we'll let this finish extracting and we'll see what else we have. So Scratch is a graphical language designed to teach basic programming to young children and beginners. Looks really cool. You can do so much. We do a lot of robot, robot activity in uh, AI with the kids, Omega High Scholars. So uh, shout out to Omega High. And Sonic Pi is a program language which allows you to compose and perform music. So another great learning uh, live coding app for music and for programming for kids as well as adults. Advanced programmers, various Python and Java development environments are included, and this is where I come in. Again, you guys know me as a course instructor for developing course material content for uh, computer programmers, Java being a prerequisite. Um, I did a lot of, well, at least three tests, three course exams for Python. And Raspberry Pi essentially is Python. If you need help, the Raspberry Pi website has resources, downloads, and user forms. And this is great to know. Now Windows will install. This is the Windows Internet of Things Core. It's being installed into my Raspberry Pi 3 SD card. Once installed, you'll be able to use the power of the Windows platform to create amazing projects and applications. And this is a cool hack to get Windows for real cheap. Again, this uh, I got Raspberry Pi 3 for what, $34.99? So. This is Windows done differently. The Internet of Things stands for that. Your things, you can use the best tools, platforms available. Uh, 
amazing projects. Like for example, I want to operate and create a, a security camera for my home, or I want to ensure that I can control all my smart appliances. This this is what Internet of Things does. Okay, so this is taking some time. We'll come back when this is done. All right. As you can see, the OS is having installed. I installed Raspberry as well as Windows uh, 10 for Internet of Things. So there we have it, Raspberry Pi. So the next thing you want to do is make sure you go to preferences and ensure to enable the SSH and VNC um, for your virtual server. Let's see, we'll go ahead and do that. Say okay. This might be a little fuzzy, it's late, but I'll explain later in the description below. All right, so that's one thing. And the reason we did that was because um, we need to find our IP address for the Wi-Fi network. And so I'm going to type in config. Let's get this out of here. Sorry about that. And uh, let's make sure we put any spaces in here. Shows that Magic Mirror has been installed successfully. Alright, in continuing the um, Smart Mirror project with Raspberry Pi, what I'm doing now, I mirrored out our VNC connected my iPad 2. This is a old iPad 2. Here I'm mirroring this 15 inch monitor, which is actually a part of this uh, Raspberry Pi. This is the actual Raspberry Pi here that's, that's monitoring out to this 15 inch monitor, but I'm using the control on this iPad too. And the way you do that is you, of course, enable your VNC. You want to type pseudo Raspberry or Raspi config, this is the configuration of Pi, and that will open up the, uh, the interface. And once that opens up the interface, VNC is already included. Raspbian. So all you have to do is just ensure that Raspbian is enabled. And so that's why I'm able to uh, communicate via the iPad 2, um, which is a cellular 64 gig. So like I said, this is a very older model iPad that I'm reusing for multiple purposes, like the Smart Mirror project, um, in order to ensure I can display out what the, com the commands and text are. So what I'm doing right now, I just typed in sudo app get update. And this will ensure that all my Raspberry fetches have been updated and it looks like it, it is done. So we'll move on to the next step.
up says hi. Maybe not. But anyway, this is the smart mirror. And so I'm not gonna show myself right now, but you can see the reflection and then you can see the, um, again, the headline here, uh, the compliment line there, the date and time stamp up at the top. And then I have, of course, some holidays going here. But again, this is a few default modules that you can get from the GitHub repository. I actually, again, want to do a few more things. I want to set up uh, face recognition. So that way I'm going to probably install or either trigger out the webcam from this monitor or either add another webcam monitor up on the top in order for it to recognize my face. And then I want to add a uh, the voice recognition kit in order to add commands so that it can access different things into the mirror as well as say different things. Fluff, do you want to say anything to the smart mirror, Fluff, for now? You sleepy? Thanks, man. You've been a great sport. This is a 24 by 70 mirror that I'm going to make smart next. Um, that's another project that I'm going to work on. But for now, this is actually I believe, a 24 by 36 mirror. And uh, it's a smart mirror now. Thanks, Imagine Mirror. For classics. Classics. For classics. Classics.com. Classics. 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 Classics.